Hello, this is Andre Battles of How and Why, the Bible Answer Guy, and I'm going to encourage you with today's devotional. I am with you always. Jesus is with you always. Jesus spoke these words to his disciples after his resurrection, and Jesus continues to proclaim this promise to all who will listen. People respond to Jesus' presence in various ways. Most Christians accept this teaching as truth, but ignore it in their daily lives. Some ill-taught and wounded Christians fear Jesus' awareness of all they do, say, and think. A few people center their lives around this glorious promise and find themselves blessed beyond all expectations. When Jesus' presence is the focal point of your consciousness, all the pieces of your life will fall into place. As you gaze at Jesus through the eyes of your conscience or your heart, the heart that is filled with the Word of God, you will be able to see the world from the perspective of Christ. The fact that Jesus is with you makes every moment of your life meaningful. There have been many times where I felt like Jesus just was not there. I can look back at how I was raised, my childhood. It was a very emotional childhood because we moved quite often. For those of you that know me, my mother is a Bahamian citizen, born and raised in the islands of the Bahamas. And my father is an American citizen. So it was an interesting childhood to say the we, least. We, we lived in the we, Bahamas. We've lived all over America. By the time I was 18, I had been to at least 10 schools and I was just tired of all the moving. I was tired of all of the things that went along with my childhood. It was hard to believe that Jesus was there. There's a line in today's devotional that says something that I think we should emphasize. It says that most Christians accept this teaching as truth, but ignore it in their daily lives. What teaching is that? They accept that Christ is with you always, which is the idea of the devotional, but they do not accept it in their daily lives. When they're stressed, when they're struggling, when they're tired, when they're feeling depression, they don't live it in a practical way. And what that means is that instead of depending on God in every situation that you face, most people just turn to the things of this world. Music, movies, drugs, sex, alcohol, and other forms of entertainment just to keep their minds afloat. And you guys exactly. know exactly what I mean because when you're going through something you'll get on Facebook or YouTube and you'll start going through the short videos because you're looking for a laugh, you're looking for a mental distraction. And although there perhaps may not be anything necessarily wrong with that, when will we begin to call on Jesus so that he can occupy our minds rather than occupying ourselves with things that pass and fade away? Well, once again, this is Andre Battles with another devotional from our book, Jesus Calling. And again, I'm going to encourage you to hit the share button so that others of your friends and family members can be blessed like you were. And I'll see you tomorrow right here.